الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear students of year 4 Welcome in a new lesson of our Islamic studies We start as usual by the name of Allah سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم In our Quran time, I will ask someone to recite a small surah of the Holy Quran. And in our story time, we will learn about the story of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. This is the lesson plan. This class and safety rules. Look to these pictures and try to Tell me your opinion about these pictures, what you can see. After that, we will find out and guess the title of our lesson about the Holy Quran. As you see, this is when he recite Quran easily and the other one he faced it difficult to recite Quran so our lesson related to this matter our lesson today about the virtues of recite the Holy Quran and these are our learning objectives how to read hadith correctly, then you should memorize it, read and explain the meaning of vocabulary and explain the general meaning of hadith. This is the hadith of our lesson. It was narrated that Aisha, may Allah be blessed with her, said the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, the one who is proficient in recitation of the Holy Quran will be with the honorable of obedient scribes of writers or writers angels and who will recite the Holy Quran and finds it difficult to recite doing his best to recite it in the best way possible will have double reward. Sahih Muslim These are the meaning of uh, vocabularies. Proficient means following in reading Quran. Scribes means angels. And difficult means hard. And this is the general meaning of the hadith. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam learned us in this hadith that there are two types of people during recite and memorize the Holy Quran. The first one is professional in reading Quran. And the second one faces it difficult during recite Quran. But he is doing his best to recite Quran. So this one, Allah will give him a double reward. And I need here to ask a challenge question, how to be professional in reading Quran. Yeah, you can ask your Islamic teacher to learn you Tajweed rules, or you can join any centers of memorize Quran, and there are a lot of them here inside UAE. And this a wonderful thing from the ruler of UAE. May Allah be pleased with him. They made and established more centers to help all the people inside UAE to memorize the Holy Quran. And I am joining 
my kids one of these centers so I can learn the Holy Quran and be professional in reading it through my Islamic teacher centers of memorizing Quran or any website about Quran the Holy Quran or also through YouTube channel and I have here a creative question also how this one who faced difficult to memorize Quran and he is doing his best Allah will give him double reward how yeah because this Muslim he are doing his best to memorize and read the Holy Quran so this express his loving more to Allah Prophet Muhammad Quran and Islam and also this express your loving to your Islamic teacher if you learn and and rest to memorize the Holy Quran and be professional in it your Islamic teacher will be happy with you so this is the general meaning of the hadith now come to remember what we learned before about the decades of reciting the Holy Quran we will watch this video together and I need you to conclude the from this video some etiquettes of reciting Quran After watching this video we can find some of the etiquettes of reciting Quran I should do do Number two, both Quran in holder or stand or my hands or something high, not in the floor because it is haram. So I should respect Quran. Number three, say istaada. And do you know what does it mean, istaada? Istaada means saying, A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim Number four, say Bismillah. I should say after Istaada, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Number five, recite Quran correctly with Tajweed rules. Here another activity about the virtues of recite Quran. Watch also this video and try to find out the virtues of reciting the Holy Quran. It's a group to write two of these virtues. After that, you should share your answer together. After that, we will know that the virtues or the benefits of reciting the Holy Quran, you will get good deeds, you will get hasanat from Allah. And I have here another challenge question. Do you know how many hasanat you will get if you recite the Holy Quran? Do you know? Think. Yeah. Each letter from Quran, you will get ten hasanat, ten good deeds. The Prophet said, "If you recite Quran, you will get ten good deeds for each letter." I didn't say alif lam mim. All one letter, but a little letter 
and lamb letter and name letter. So I have here another challenge question. More challenge question you can find here with me. You can count how many hasanat you will get if you recite only Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. You learn it now that each letter from Quran you will get in hasanat. So how many hasanat you will get if you recite only Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Calculate how many letters and then how you count this. Yeah, I need to discover who is professional and smart in math. This also link our lesson by other subjects with math. And with Arabic, you can, I will ask you to recite, to write. Uh, virtues of recite Quran by Arabic but by math now can you calculate how many hasanat you will get think after there's a challenging question you will know that if you calculate the letters in Bismillahirrahmanirrahim we will find it 19 letters so we will uh, we will calculate 19 multiply 10 it will be hmm, anybody can answer okay, 19 multiply 10 yeah it will be 190 hasanat look the hasanat that you will get if you recite only Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Imagine how many hasanat you will get if you recite only Surah al-Fatiha or Surah al-Ikhlas or Surah al-Falak or Surah al-Nas or any small surah. I think maybe thousands or millions if you recite, if you read a big surah, not a small surah like al-Fatiha and al-Ikhlas. But al fatiha al ikhlas you will, it will, you will get, I think, maybe hundreds or thousands of hasanat. But if you recite a big surah like Yasin or Al Kahf or Al Baqarah, you will get millions of hasanat. This number one, you will get good deeds if she later equal in hasanat. Number two, if you read Quran, Allah will protect you and your house, your family from the devil and any evils. Yeah, because who recite Quran, the jinn can enter his house and also he will be protected from any problems. Especially if you recite Surah Al-Baqarah, because it mentioned in Hadith, you recite Surah Al-Baqarah, uh, the, uh, the Jinn can uh, uh, join his house or her house. Number three, you will have a high status on paradise. You will have a high position in paradise. As you know from the hadith, the one who is professional in reciting the Holy Quran will be with the honorable writers of angels. So you will be or you will have a high position in paradise and this will increase your rank in Jannah. You know Jannah is 100 ranks and 
if you read and memorize Quran more, this will increase your level in Jannah. So you will be in the highest levels of Jannah. And also, you will wear a crown of honor, you and your parents, on the day, day of judgment. The angels will give you to wear a crown of honor, you and your parents, so you will be known as those people of Quran, people of Allah. The Prophet Sallallahu said in another hadith, Ahlul Qur'an hum Ahlullahi wa khasatuh. People of Quran are people of Allah. This means that Allah loves them more. And number five, Quran will come on the day of judgment and he will be like an assessor. And the assessor means he will ask Allah to forgive your sins. In another hadith, the Prophet said, As-Siyam wal-Qur'an yashfa'ani lil-abdi yawm al-Qiyama. Fasting and the Qur'an will come on the day of judgment and they will ask Allah to forgive, to forgive to their going or their companion. Those who fast more, and read Quran more, Quran and fasting will come on the Day of Judgment and they will ask Allah to forgive to their companion. These are the benefits or the virtues of reciting the Holy Quran. So I hope all of you to Keen on reading and memorizing the Holy Quran to gain these benefits and these rewards from Allah. Glory be to Him. May Allah help you and me to get these rewards. And here are some difficulties in reading the Quran. And here, how we can overcome these uh, difficulties in the recitation of the Holy Quran. And this activities about the lesson, these three activities. He will have time to answer these activities during the class. And this link our lesson by identity and UEE. How could you help others around you to improve their skills in reciting the Holy Quran? And another question. Could you mention some of the Quranic centers in UAE? I can tell you some of these Quranic centers in UAE, like Abu Bakr Siddiq Center to memorize Quran, and the Abu Dhabi Center in memorizing Quran, and the Hamil al Ghai Centers, and more and more here in UAE. Here, plenary to assess you about how you understand our lesson. 
and your homework will be memorize this hadith And at the end of our lesson, this is the dua that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam let us to see, to say it in the end of any meeting or any class or any lesson. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik, ashadu wa la ilaha illa an, astaghfiruka wa atubu laik. Thank you for watching and listening. See you in a new lesson, inshallah. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته